Do you know you can make this game in just two minutes? Today, I'll show you how to make a simple snake game in Scratch with only one sprite. The snake moves, grows longer over time. Let's get started. Let's start by adding a backdrop. I'll use a simple yellow background. It's bright and easy to see the snake. And、uh, I have a red border around the edge, so the snake doesn't go beyond the play area. Now let's upload the snake sprite. It has two costumes, one for the head and one for the body. For the head costume, I've added a big green tongue, and that's actually important for our game logic later. The second costume is the body piece, which we'll use to make the snake grow longer as the game goes on. Now let's start coding for the snake head. When the green flag is clicked, we'll first set the original size and switch the costume to the snake head. Make sure the snake is pointing to the right and goes to the starting position at the center of the screen. Next, we'll use a repeat until block this loop will keep the snake moving until its tongue touches its body. Inside the loop. Make the snake move five steps each time. Then add controls for turning. If the left arrow key is pressed, rotate the snake head counterclockwise. If the right arrow key is pressed, rotate the snake head clockwise. Now let's make the snake's body follow the head. When the green flag is clicked, we'll use a forever loop to keep creating body pieces. Inside the loop, add create clone of myself, then wait 0.05 seconds before making the next one. This keeps the body growing smoothly behind the head. When I start as a clone, switch the costume to the body costume. Wait one second, and then delete the clone so the tail slowly disappears as the snake moves forward. Now let's make the game even more fun by adding a score system. First. Create a new variable called score. At the start of the game, set score to zero. Then, every time the snake's body grows longer, change score by one. To make it more interesting, you can increase the wait time before each tail piece disappears. This makes the snake get longer and harder to control as you play, just like a real snake game. Finally, let's end the game properly. If the snake head touches its own body. We'll say game over, and then stop all. And that's it. You've just created a simple snake game in Scratch. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you in next video.